Before we upload some files, let's quickly cover these icons at the top right of the interface. The Upgrade button brings you back to the Billing section of the Account Settings, so you can choose a new plan. Let's click Back to App. The Present icon is for letting others know about Frame.io through email or social media, with a nice cash incentive if someone signs up for a paid plan. The Person icon lists any collaborators who have requested to become team members because they want to be able to share a presentation or a review link. The lightning bolt shows comments in any projects that you are a member of. If there are unread comments, the icon will instead be read with a number that indicates the number of unread comments. The question mark icon opens up a help window that includes live chat, a status indicator, and a searchable database of helpful articles. Let's upload some files. First, I'll select the empty project we created earlier. To upload files, one option is to click the New button and choose File or Folder Upload. But rather than using those commands, I'll simply switch to the Finder. Here, I have a mix of file types. Video clips, including full resolution ProRes files, compressed H.264 files, audio files, JPEGs, PSDs, PDFs, and a folder of files. I'll drag them all to the Frame.io window. Frame.io has an accelerated uploader that is as much as five times faster than Dropbox. It will automatically make lower resolution proxies of your video clips for playback purposes, but always keeps your original resolution files for downloading. Therefore, you can upload your original professional video formats and team members and collaborators can access and download those original files. Note that you can also upload files directly from applications like Final Cut Pro 10 and even from iOS devices. These workflows will be covered in later lessons. When uploading is complete, we can view any files by double-clicking them to open a player window. To select another file or folder in this project, click this asset slider icon and select the file you want. To go back to the project level view, click here. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to share your files with team members, collaborators, and external parties.